The one with Ross's denial is the third episode of the sixth season of Friends. This is directed by Gary Harverson. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And it's a pretty good episode. We do have some good moments. I don't think it would ever be an all-time favourite episode. But that being said, I can't really fault it. And it starts off with Joey holding his breath. And then Rachel asks Phoebe if she can move in with her since she's having to move out of Chandler and Monica's. And I'll talk about this part of the narrative first, the part focusing on Rachel. I'll then touch on the narrative that deals with Monica and Chandler. And Phoebe says that Rachel can't move in with her because what about her roommate Denise? And she shouts Denise a few times. That's definitely a pretty iconic moment. Joey then offers Rachel to stay in his apartment. Makes perfect sense. Chandler is moving out. He's going to have a vacant room. And Rachel says she'd rather find her own place. Ross then tries to help out by giving her the number of Warren from the museum, who's going away for two years. Seems like the perfect solution. The place has already been let. So on the spur of the moment, despite what Phoebe has been saying to Ross about the fact that he's in denial that he clearly still loves Rachel, Ross decides to say that Rachel can live with him. And Rachel's really pleased about this, although she is a little bit exaggerating. She did say she was going to be homeless if Ross didn't say that, which is not true because A, Monica told her to take as long as she needs to move out, which meant that She's not on a time crunch. She can move out once she's found somewhere. And B, Joey did offer her the room there. So she wasn't going to be homeless. It's not like Ross was her only option. But it is interesting that she's happy to move in with Ross, but not with Joey, at least at this point. And Monica and Chandler are then not moving in together. And I'll talk about why that is in a moment when I discuss their part of the narrative. And it's pretty funny, with Ross going back and forth between Monica and Chandler's and Central Perk and trying to get them to move in together and then making them question it. It was it was well done. Monica and Chandler didn't move from where they were sitting in the kitchen in the time that it took Ross to go downstairs and back up again. And this part of the narrative ends a little unclearly, actually, because Rachel is going to get the key copied for Ross's apartment But then Joey says, are you sure you don't want to move in with me? And Rachel thinks, well, actually, it is just across the hall. It would be much easier to move across the hall. And it seems very unclear at this point what Rachel's going to do. But the final scene is Joey showing around one of the candidates for the room and asking her questions. They play uh, the word association. So I don't really know... Well, I do know because I've seen it before, but based on this episode, I think it is pretty unclear what Rachel's going to do. And I like that. I like the fact that there's still a tiny little bit of suspense. I think it worked quite well. A fun part of the narrative definitely helps to solidify the fact that Ross clearly still loves Rachel. We had an interesting talk with Ross and Rachel where Rachel said that she's not in that place anymore. And Ross said that he wasn't either, which is very clearly a lie. So definitely an awkward time to be Ross because I think he is very much in denial while also I think he knows how he feels but he's refusing to accept it. He's definitely in some level of denial. And the other part of the narrative is with Monica and Chandler and they're having an argument about what to do with the spare room once Rachel moves out. Monica wants a guest room. Chandler wants a games room. And at no point... Did they decide to compromise and have a games room, guest room? Sure, it wouldn't look quite the way Monica's did, but to fill that room with old arcade games would be very expensive. So I can't imagine they'd get many old arcade games very quickly, so they could have a guest room with an arcade game in the corner. That <laughs> Who wouldn't want to stay in a guest room with an arcade game in it? Best of both worlds, but instead that's not what they decide to do. They they don't really realise that that's a practical option. And then they argue a bit more because Chandler understandably wants to take his chair. And Monica says it doesn't go with any of her stuff. And then Chandler feels like everything will be her stuff and none of it will be his stuff. And I think that that's fair. I do think that if it's practical, it's always a good idea to move in with somebody long term in a place that's new to both of you. Generally, when somebody moves in with each other, I feel like one of them will move into the other person's home 
but with the idea that they will get a place of their own together as soon as financially viable. And obviously that's not what's happening here. And thank goodness it didn't because it's a brilliant set. I couldn't imagine them living anywhere else. But at the same time, I can understand where Chandler's coming from. To move into somebody else's home and you're not allowed any of your own furniture. I guess they could buy furniture together. So, I mean, he still wants his chair, but they could buy new furniture. So even if the home's not new, the furniture would be. There are ways to solve all of these arguments. They didn't need to get into a big fight about it. But I don't think Chandler was overreacting. That being said, they were both kind of being unreasonable. Monica more so. But it's nice that at this point in their relationship, they're actually able to resolve fights pretty quickly. Unlike Ross and Rachel, where their fights lasted for an entire season. So definitely very different and not what we're used to on the show. But it's a solid episode. As I said, probably never going to be an all-time favourite, but I certainly wouldn't skip it. If I'm watching this season, I will happily watch this episode. The one with Ross's denial is pretty good.